Hello folks, welcome back to Final Fantasy X. So we've just finished the Blitzball game and we will soon be thrust into battle with a lot of monsters. Uh, I'm sorry to be a dead horse, but please remember to share these videos with your friends because I would really like as many people as possible to watch this series since it does take quite a bit of effort to make and uh, as many people that can be helped as possible would be awesome. So Wacker is just chilling here, not knowing of the horrors that's about to face us. So we did lose the Blitzball game, unfortunately. Two goals to one. I think we did fairly decently. And we had a couple of close calls as well. But that's the way of it, I'm afraid. And it is a hard battle. So we've got these little cretins that we need to destroy. And the 17 of them in all. So yeah, we've got to kill all 17 in order to, pr order to proceed. And we've only got Tidus and Wacker to use here. So I'm going to start by hasting up the party, I think. That's quite possibly the best thing we can do. 170 hit points means that we should be one-shotting them fairly regularly. Ah, or not, as the case may be. Okay, so we'll finish that one off. Wacker's Overdrive is going to come in uh, to some use here as well. I'm gonna, I don't know why I skipped Wacker then, because he does actually skip a whole turn now. Uh, what I'm going to do is... Haste up... Who did we haste, Wacker? Tidus. And then we're just going to attack these final two here. Just like that. Uh, I do want to raise our party strength and defence. In fact, I might just do it again. Because I really want Wacker one shot in these, not having to use two attacks per turn. That's more like it. And now if we use his overdrive, it is possible that we can AoE all of these down. So we're just going to... Ah, okay, well we'll attack these normally. Simply because we can kill them all without getting a uh, hit anyway. Here come some more. Let's make sure that everybody's still got haste. Yep, it does run off, uh, run off I think, after 10 turns, if I uh, remember correctly. Bit of an overkill there. Right, who's Monster Seat? You, is it? Well, if you say that. Getting some more in battle here. Well, one more, I should say. Monster Beat. I mean, if we time this right, we'll never have to actually... ...use Wacker's Overdrive. Got another two to destroy. Oh, another three, in fact. Okay, well, maybe we could test it out now. Be as uh, good an opportunity as ever. The trick here is that we basically want to match up all of the colours. So the colour order is uh, yellow, blue, white, red. So if we try and stop on yellow. Ah, or not. Okay, well we got two yellows. So we're not going to get an AoE attacking, I don't think. But we did kill one. Still have haste. We are going to get an attack in uh, off the enemy here. But it was a miss anyway. All these lovely overkills are nice to see. Just means we get more rewards, more SP at the end. Alright, so we'll attack. What? Come on. I want to attack Monster B, nothing else. Right, let's see. Not you. Yeah, you. That's the one. I do love the battle system, actually. 
I mean, look, if we do this right, we're never actually going to take any attacks, are we? Which is pretty awesome. Are we done? Is that all 17 defeated? It is. So now we're about to be joined. 20 power spheres, that's nice. Uh, by a permanent... Well, a party member's going to be joining us permanently, I should say. Somebody we've met before, and if you've been following along with me, then it should be no surprise who it's going to be. What's happening? Right, enter all on. So his attacks are quite powerful as you can see. And he also has the useful break abilities. So you do know him. Yeah, best guardian there ever was. And it's one of these uh, Garadu type enemies that we've fought before. Uh, so I think we'll start off with a haste. Maybe on Auron. I mean, why not? Right, Waka. Can prevent it from doing any physical damage to us temporarily for three turns. Get it blinded. Well, it won't prevent it completely, but it will drastically lower its hit percentage. Power Break. Which will also reduce the amount of damage it does to us. If it does hit, that is. One thing I actually can't remember is whether or not Power Break can stack. So, we'll try it again, see if it misses. Nope. It didn't, which is nice to see. Uh, go for another dark attack since it's been a few turns. And now we'll just go for flat out physical attacks. To be honest, that should finish it off quite quickly. It's already down to less than half health anyway. So as you can see, Auron's going to be a fairly useful party member, I would say. I knew that uh, the blind was going to run out, but for one attack I didn't really care much about it, in all honesty. And now somebody else is going to intervene with these enemies for us, but I won't say anything else on that point. Hey, give me a break. Pay attention because once this first scene is over, you're going to learn something new about Jekt.
of opportunity to save the game. Of course, I will never let such an opportunity pass us by. You're really leaving, Captain? Shouldn't you heal up first? Yuna needs me with her now. I can't be lying around in some bed. Yeah, but... Come on, look sharp! The blitz season just started. Don't make those faces, yeah? Well, see ya, boys. You be good. Captain. I can't hear you. Captain! Are you sure? Never liked long goodbyes anyway. Sorry for making you wait, Yuna. I had some promises to keep, yeah? From now on, I'm your full-time guardian. Then welcome back, Sir Waka. Good to have you with us. Hey. It's good to be back, yeah? So, any news on what happened? Not really. We don't know where the fiends came from. Maester Micah is safe and sound, thanks to Maester Seymour. That's about it. Maester Seymour's Aeon... It was so powerful. Hey you! Don't just stand there! All of this is your fault! Getting swallowed by Sin, ending up here in Spira, not being able to go back to Xanark, and everything, everything! I'm telling you, it's all your fault! <laughs> Who are you anyway? You knew my old man, didn't you? Yeah. And you also knew Yuna's father? That's correct. Hey, man, there's no way. That's just impossible. Nothing impossible about it. Jacked, Roska, and I... Together, we defeated Sin ten years ago. Then I went to Xanarkin, where I watched over you. So that one day, I could bring you to Spira. Why did it have to be me? Jack asked me to. Is he alive? It depends on what you mean by alive. He is no longer human. But then, I felt something object there in that shell, couldn't you? You must have felt him when you came in contact with Sin. It can't be. It is. Sin is checked. Uh, no, that's ridiculous! No way! I don't believe you! But it is the truth. You'll see for yourself. Come with me. If I say no? Every story must have an ending. I don't care about your stories! I see. Sorry you feel that way. Fine then. Come or don't come, it's your decision. What am I supposed to say? You tell me it's my decision! But I don't have a choice, do I? You're the only one who can tell me what's going on anyways! I have to go with you! I have to!
irritating. I know. Or are you afraid? <laughs> it's all right. All right. Will I ever go home? Act as Anarkin? That's up to Jekt. I'm going to offer my services to Yuna. Come. Nice. So some interesting revelations there. Now, we've pretty much done everything we need to do for the time being in Luca. All of the story sections are complete anyway. But there's still a few bits and bobs that we can uh, finish with. Don't want to talk to you. So we've learned some new stuff about Jekt now. And the fact that Jekt and Sin are in fact one of the same. Before we go anywhere else, what I do recommend uh, is... Well, stocking up on weapons if we can. The only question is... Uh, where we can do so. And if I remember, the theatre reception is the place, isn't it? So there's basically a couple of things we can just buy for Aura. Who is now very much a part of our team. Look at him there, being all aura -ny. I think there was something down here for us. Was it the shot? Oh, no, don't come back out. Come on, Tidus, do as you're told. Right then, was it this thing? I can't remember, you know. Oh, no, we did speak to that, didn't we? Oh, right, so they're the guys that play the music for us. Oh, man, where is the shop? I can't remember off the top of my head. Can't remember where the flipping shop is, which is annoying. Um, unless it's over here still. Don't know why I thought it was over here. Sorry about that. I think it's this dude here. Yeah, he suddenly came back to me. Right, so we can buy the Shimmering Blade. And, no, I don't know if it just yet. Also, the Metal Bracer. And I might get some of the other metal stuff as well. Not too much though, but some of it. Did we get a Metal Shield? Well, we've got one now. So let's just throw some of this stuff on the dudes. And just aura. Hey, look, there's a Thunder Blade, which has Lightning Strike. That's the one we found, I think. And we place the standard bracer with the metal bracer. And now, with that done, we can actually finish with Luca and exit the city. Plus or minus any cutscene that may or may not take place anyway. But I'm sure the red objective marker will point that out to us, no pun intended. Yep, it's just a case of heading up the stairs now. Heading up and out. If you remember, this is where we collected the 1000 gil from earlier. Sir Oren knows him, apparently. You were right. He did meet someone he knew. 
Do you think he'll find a way back to Xanarkand? In any case, I'll miss having him around. He's still in town, isn't he? I think I'll go see him. Oh! Whoa! Sororan! Yuna. Sir. I wish to become your guardian. Do you accept? Uh, You're serious? You refuse? No, no. We accept, right, everyone? Uh, of course. No problem at all. But why? I promised Braska. You promised my father? Thank you, Sir Oren. You're welcome to join us. And... he comes oh. too. Hi, guys. Uh, howdy. This one I promised Jekt. Is Sir Jekt alive? Can't say. Haven't seen him in ten years. I... see. You'll meet eventually. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. What's our itinerary? Where are we headed? Hey, come with me. Okay. So I guess we can leave now. Or we can just speak to Yuna, see what she's got to say for herself. Oh, please. Hey, what? Is this the scene I'm thinking of? <gasps> uh. Hey. You got pretty good. You sound sad. Yeah, maybe. Want to scream? Mm. I really don't think that's going to help this time. You know what? This is pure cheese, this scene. It's I have to warn you about that. Myself. But summoners and their guardians are kind of like Spira's ray of light. A lot of people in Spira depend on us. I learned to practice smiling when I'm feeling sad, you know. <laughs> I know it's hard. Yeah, I understand, I think. Right, now let's see what you can do. Huh? Come on. Uh, uh. Next, try laughing out loud. What? Come on, show me. shouldn't laugh anymore.
Okay. If we should get separated, just whistle. I'll come running. I promise. Hmm. <laughs> well, let's go. What are you looking at? We were just worried you guys might have gone crazy. Sorry. Well then, all right. Now, we will go to the temple at Jose. And guardians, don't forget to smile. Yeah, I did warn you, didn't I, about that uh, scene. I said it was cheesy, it was more like... Moldy Stilton or something. But here we go, look, Luca is finished. And we are now going to be moving on to our next adventure. The My Ihun High Road, I think it's called. No doubt I've mispronounced that. Hopefully one of our friendly characters will correct us in the very near future. And I do believe this is Chocobo Land, so that is something for us to look forward to. But alas, that comes brings us to the end of this episode. So please uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Hopefully it's been helpful to you. Don't forget to hit that like button. The more likes we get, the quicker the next episode will be uploaded. And subscribe to the channel to support uh, the work that I do here for you all. Uh, I really do appreciate that and it's what keeps me going really if i know people are watching then i uh, you know i will be recording thanks a lot guys and i'll see you next time for more final fantasy 10 see you then bye for now